What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back again with another video for you all, and I am showing you all Polish's brand spanking new collection. This is the Time and Space collection. This is inspired by the most recent season of Doctor Who, so sound off below if you are a Doctor Who fan. I definitely want to see. So let's dive right into these swatches. First up, we have Villa Diodati. This is a soft mint green with a strong pink glow. So this has a very crelly-like formula to me. Um, it's very smooth and very creamy. However, it does have just a bit of that nice jelly, squishy-like factor to your brush strokes and does have a soft feel when you're applying. So on this one, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats, depending on your nail length and all that good stuff. Personally, I took it up to three coats and I thought it looked really lovely, really strong glowing factor with that shimmer. It is a very, very strong, but soft and delicate pink glow. And I definitely agree with the description that that base color is a lovely softened type of minty shade. Very, very pretty, really flattering. Um, big time fan of blues, obviously, and mint shades. I think these are very universally flattering. And you can see here on that third coat, really nice buildup starting to happen. Um, I do feel like if you have a very prominent free edge, you'll definitely see just the tiniest little hint of your visible nail line, like what you're gonna see here as I build this one up on myself. So if that does bother you, then definitely um, use a color correcting base coat um, or some sort like that, and I think you'll be just fine. Here on the full hand shot, you are seeing a glossy top coat applied, and I am good to go. And next we've got Chameleon Circuit. This is a bright TARDIS blue with a mix of pink, orange, and gold iridescent flakes. I really worried about this one on the video, um, watching the playback here. I really feel like it's kind of blowing out that blue color. Please know it is just a shade or two darker. I think that bottle shot really blew out. Um, but watching the actual application part of it, I feel like this part is actually a little bit more of a better representation to what I'm seeing in person. So um, personally, I think my swatches definitely got kind of blown out on the, the blue base. So definitely please refer to this actual application part for, in my opinion, a better representation of that color. So it is very bright, it's very brilliant and just really in your face. However, it's not this, you know, electrifying, blue shade that's coming up that um, were on my swatches. Definitely take into consideration of that. So this is a very crelly like formula, really easy to build up, very lovely formula, self levels great. I had no problems with the flakes, everything laid down nice and flat for me. And after top coating, um, everything was smooth to the touch. And next we have Lone Cyberman. This is a bright silver holographic with strong orange glow. This is so stunning and I really feel like if you've got medium to deep skin tone, this is going to pop like crazy on you. So the formula on it is very creamy, very smooth on those brush strokes. It has just a touch of a metallic like feel to it. Um, it does dry down quite a bit on the matte side. So if you're a glossy gal like myself, I definitely recommend a really good glossy top coat to really get those um, a little holographic flex in it to pop like crazy. So in person, depending on the lighting that you're in, um, there's that nice orange shimmer to it. I feel like it's almost like a gilded type of goldish shade, really complex. It's just something you have to see in person. It's very, very pretty. Um, so you'll see it in the background of all of those little silver holographic flecks. It's really lovely. So here on the full hand shot, you can see I've got that glossy top coat down and really lovely glowing factor. And next we've got Timeless Child. This is a medium gray with a strong violet glow. So the formula on this one is very similar to that first one I showed you guys. It's got quite a bit of a crelly-like feel to it with that nice, soft, and delicate type finish to it. So the shimmer is also really strong in this one. I thought this one looked fantastic on myself, and normally you guys know on nudes or taupes or grays, things like that, if they're warm like and neutral, um, I'm typically kind of weary of them as I always feel like they kind of wash me out. But I thought this one looked really, really great against my skin tone. So if you've got medium to deep skin tones, I would say don't be afraid of this one. Um, that shimmer really rounds everything out on it. So it's very strong and it has a really lovely iridescent-like effect. 
Now, very similar to that first one, if a visible nail line bothers you and you have a strong, prominent free edge, once again, I'm gonna suggest um, some type of color correcting base color. Otherwise, just know it is a bit on the softer side, so it, once again, if you've got that free edge happening, um, you'll see just a touch of your smile line. But personally, I think it's worth it. It's gorgeous, and honestly, these days, visible nail line has not been bothering me lately. I've actually been really living for um, these amped up type of shears. And last but not least, we've got the Master. This is a bright neon berry with a strong cyan to purple to pink multi-chrome shift. This is beautiful in person. It is so gorgeous. Um, really lovely formula on it too. It applies very opaque on the nail, easy peasy coverage on it. For the most part, I think two coats and most are gonna be just fine. In person, you'll see, as you can see here on that first coat, um, that really nice, very vibrant, rich, but still really deep berry base color to it. Um, and in bright lights and indoor lighting, you'll see a very, very strong cyan, that nice blue type of glow happening with it. So at extreme angles, you'll easily see a color roll of that purpley pink shade. It just lights up really lovely. I'm digging that blue shimmer happening here. It is very, very pretty. So multi-chrome lovers, um, you definitely want to grab this one. It's got a lovely glow to it. Now this one dries down semi-gloss, so I think any top coat will be just fine with it. And it really exploits that color roll like crazy. And keeping up with the yearly tradition of the charity polish for the Nashville, Tennessee Bunny Rescue, we have Bunny 2020, described as a medium rosewood mauve with crushed gold flake. So this has a, in my opinion, Crelly-like formula to it as well. It is very creamy, very smooth, and has a lovely self-leveling factor to it. That base color is so pretty. I would love to see a lipstick in this color. Um, so, so pretty. I love kind of neutrally, kind of mauve type, rosy type shades. I think they're so flattering. And the little crushed gold flakes in this are stunning. So you'll get excellent flake payoff on this one. Per usual, I give my bottles a good shake before applying. And on this, I had no issues with them. I got quite a bit of excellent payoff on those brush strokes. For the most part, I think most are gonna be just fine at two coats for it as it plumps up very nicely and builds up very easily to opacity. And it also dries down semi-gloss. So once again, I think any gl glossy top coat will be just fine for it. So Bunny 2020 will be on pre-order for the month of May, starting May 10th. And everything else will also be released May 10th at 7 p.m. Central Time through May 12th at 11.59 p.m. Central Time with regular restocks on the time and space. So once again, the Bunny 2020 will be available for the month of May and those restocks with the time and space being available a little bit after May. I'll link you guys below to Polish's shop if you wanna get in there and check it out and the Facebook fan group if you wanna see what's happening in there. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.